friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first video in my 2019 fall baking series. I look forward to this every year. I seriously love autumn, I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. I can't get enough of the smells, the weather, the pumpkins, it's so amazing. So I like to do a lot of baking during the fall. I love, again, all of that pumpkin, that spice flavoring. So I do an entire series here on my channel every year where I bring to you fall baking ideas, Halloween baking ideas, and Christmas baking ideas, all of which are WW friendly, all of which you can fit into your points plan on freestyle or whatever Weight Watchers plan that you follow. So really awesome to be able to have a sweet treat during this time of year, but be able to remain on track at the same time. So this is the first video for 2019 and this recipe was so good. My husband devoured it and I cannot wait to share it with you. So let's start out the 2019 fall baking series. first episode in the 2019 fall baking series we are going to be making pumpkin apple bread I cannot wait to make this it sounds so good the sweetness of the apples a little bit of orange zest I cannot wait for this so let me show you what is in our bread so first you're going to need some sweetener alternative of your choice I'm going to be using this stevia in the raw zero calorie sweetener you'll also need some all-purpose flour unsweetened applesauce salt, baking powder, and baking soda. You'll also need some sort of a whole grain, whole wheat, oat type of flour. So I'm gonna be doing this Bob's Red Mill oat flour. An egg, two green apples, one navel orange, some honey, and I'm gonna be doing the Nature's Hollow Sugar-Free Honey. This I purchased off of the Nutrition website. It is really, really low in points. It's only one point for one tablespoon. It tastes delicious. Just be cautionary that it is made with xylitol. So be really careful with it around animals, but it is delicious. If you're interested in this honey, if you go to Nutrition's website, just click the link down in the description box. You will find dozens and dozens of WW friendly items. I love that website. One of the main things I purchased besides the fiber gourmet pasta is this Nature's Hollow Sugar Free Honey off of Nutrition's website. So definitely check it out. You're also going to need a can of pumpkin and also some pumpkin spice. So I'll be using the Dax. As you know, this is my very favorite pumpkin spice. It is so good, all natural, no salt, nothing artificial. It is literally whole ingredients and the flavor of the pumpkin spice is so good. The best I've ever, ever tried hands down. I do have 10% off at Dax. My code is here on the screen. Click the link down in the description box. Enter my code that's here on the screen. You'll receive 10% off and free shipping. Highly recommend the pumpkin spice. They have over 20 spices and they're all absolutely delicious. With the no salt, it's perfect before weigh in. So let's get started on our pumpkin apple bread. So the first thing we need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grate some orange peel and I'm just gonna grate that over a paper plate. It makes it the easiest to put it into our dish. And then I need to peel and chop the apples until I have about between a half a cup and a cup of the peeled chopped apples. So let's get started. to do for our pumpkin bread is in my container here I have my one and a third cup of oat flour my two cups of regular flour so a lot of the points of this recipe honestly are coming from the flour so I don't know if that's good or bad but we do want to mix together the oat flour and the regular flour and in my bowl here I have a little bit of salt about a half a teaspoon half of a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder 
So we're gonna go ahead and add those. And then the last thing that we're adding is some of our Dax pumpkin pie. Now add as much or as little as you want. I really like this. So I'm gonna be adding quite a bit of it to my recipe. And we're gonna give this a good stir before we add in our wet ingredients. Once your dry ingredients are mixed together, we're gonna add in our wet ingredients. But first, I forgot to tell you that you are going to need one half of a cup of apple juice. I don't know how I missed that, but that is just some 100% pure apple juice, and you need about a half of a cup of that. You also need one third cup of the apple sauce, and this is essentially substituting the oil in the recipe so you can always sub out those unhealthy oils with applesauce and it makes your dish nice and moist we're also going to add the one or yeah three quarters cup I apologize of sugar whatever it is that you're going to be using the recipe calls for one half of a cup of honey but this is all I have which is a little over a quarter of a cup of honey so I'm going to add that you can always up your sweetener if you want if you are low on any of the sweet ingredients but I think that this is gonna be just fine. And then I have one cup of eggs. So I have a couple whole eggs and some egg whites. You just wanna make sure that you have one cup total. Also, I'm going to add in my orange peel. Doesn't that look delicious? So we're gonna add in all of that. I went ahead and just zested my entire orange as you saw. I'm gonna give this kind of a preliminary mix and then we're going to add in our can of pumpkin, but this already smells so good. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the entire can of our 100% pure pumpkin. Uh, pro tip on the pumpkin, make sure you're not getting the one that says pumpkin pie filling. Make sure you're getting the 100% pure pumpkin. That one has a lot of sugar, the pie filling does. And this one is literally zero points on freestyle, so it's just pure pumpkin. So make sure you're getting that. Once you get your pumpkin added in, we're gonna get this all nice and mixed together, and then we're ready to fold in our apples. Lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add in all of our peeled and sliced up apples, and you're just going to stir that into the mix, and then we're ready to get this into a baking pan and get this into the oven. Next, we are gonna spray our bread pan with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray, and we're gonna go ahead and add in our bread mix. I have my oven at 350, it's just about warmed up, and then we are going to pop this into the oven until it's cooked all the way through. But I'm telling you right now, this smells so incredibly delicious, I cannot wait. So here is our pumpkin apple bread. I'm going to get this into the oven, and I'll be back in a flash to show you our completed bread. I just pulled out the pumpkin apple bread. This looks so good. This loaf is huge. So I'm going to allow this to cool. I'm going to cut it into 14 slices, and I'll be back to show you a serving and give you the smart points, but this is looking delish. So here is our pumpkin apple bread. So this is 1 12th of the recipe. So I actually ended up cutting it into 12 servings only because I thought for the extra point it was a much more substantial piece. So you can have 1 12th of this pumpkin apple bread for only five smart points. This is a large slice of bread. You could cut that in half in half the smart points, but you can't beat pumpkin apple bread for only five smart points. Thank you for joining me on my first episode in the 2019 fall baking series. This pumpkin apple bread was absolutely delicious. So good. And what a huge slice for the smart points. You can't beat it. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Stay tuned definitely for more coming your way. I plan on uploading a couple of different fall baking recipes throughout this month. We'll move into Halloween and then we have Christmas. Lots of baking ideas, all WW friendly coming your way. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload. You don't want to miss a single video. You don't want to miss a baking video for sure. Give this one a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know, are you going to give this recipe a try? It is so good. You could take it to the office, take it to Thanksgiving, take it to an event, and you would never know that it's WW friendly. So thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to fall, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.